Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be optimizing the use of Thorn or Aberrant Sorcery. Now Thorn and Aberrant Sorcery are very niche spells. There's only two of them. That being Briars of Sin and Briars of Punishment. They have their own staff, which is the Staff of the Guilty. And they do bleed damage. They do require faith as well. So you can't use it really with the Albaneric Staff, which scales off of arcane and intelligence because your stats will be spread too thin. So you're kind of locked into just a faith build. But at the same time, if you have a faith build, you have dozens of other spells that are, quite honestly, a hell of a lot better than Thorn Sorcery. The only really use I could see to having them on a faith build is for the magic damage because otherwise Faith doesn't have access to that outside of Dragon Incantations, but those require Arcane. But Magic Damage is the most resistant damage type in PvE, so does it really need to exist? If something's weak to Holy, you can use Fire. If something's weak to Fire and Holy, you can use Physical. If something's weak to Fire, Physical, and Holy, you can use Lightning. It's just a really weird niche where I'm not sure you would quite need to have magic damage in your build. They are interesting spells. Briars of Sin is a AoE and it does at 80 faith around 600 to 700 damage depending on which cast it is and does 95 bleed. It has pretty good FP usage. I mean it only costs 6 FP but it does deal damage. It takes 80 health from you. It's an AoE and it does decent damage. Well, that doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's horrendously slow and has an insanely long recovery time. It makes it nearly unusable. You are locked in place for a very long time, and once you start casting, there's no getting out of it. You are locked in that animation. So that leaves us with Briars of Punishment. Briars of Punishment is a ranged spell that has decent tracking, although the problem is it tracks on the ground and it moves through the ground and will like jut up from the ground to do damage to the enemy which isn't normally a problem but most bosses have gap closers and they can just run right past which isn't a problem with most sorceries or most incantations even because they travel through the air and can still hit the boss but since it's in the ground the bosses can run right by them not to mention the cast speed and recovery is also quite long, just like Briars of Sin, and the fact that it does less damage and less bleed than Briars of Sin. To offset it, it does have less HP drain, but it does cost a little bit more FP. Overall, these are quite bad spells. To make them overpowered, you have to stack buffs and hope to god that RNG goes in your favor, which is kind of where this build comes in. Three buffs is really all you need for this to do good damage, even on New Game Plus, which is where I tested this build. I'm sure on new game you would have an easier time. So for my build, I have started as a Prophet that's going to be the most optimal class. We have a 60 Vigor, 30 Benign Mind, 12 Endurance, and 80 Faith. Everything else is at base because it's not relevant to this build. We are going to be using two Staff of the Guilty, as well as a Erdtree Seal. For spells, we have Briars of Sin and Briars of Punishment, naturally. And then Golden Vow and Howl of Shabriri. That's going to further boost our damage, as well as provide us a little bit more damage negation to offset Howl of Shabriri. So for the armor, we're going to use the Pointed Hat, Alberch's Robe, Alberch's Bracers, and then Bull Goat Greaves. And along with the Bull Goat's Talisman, that's going to give us 51 poise because it's slow enough where we do need poise to not be staggered out of our attacks. For Talismans, as I said, we have Bull Goat's Talisman, Graven Mass Talisman, Graven School Talisman, and Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. That's going to both boost our survivability and our damage on Thorn Sorcery. For the Great Rune, we have Radon's Great Rune, as always. That's going to boost our HP, FP, and Endurance. For the Crystal Tier, we have Opline Heart Tier and Magic Shrouding Crack Tier to again further boost our damage and damage negation. 